Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. It's 2.45 a.m. here in Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, I'm missing my neighbor. Now, I mentioned my neighbor before, Lindsay. Uh, mentioned her in my video, her and her boyfriend. And they got a cute little white uh, pity. Uh, it's just a puppy. They rescued it. Looking good. Uh, I don't know what the story is there, but, you know, it had to, I, I think maybe the mother passed away, um, because they had to bottle feed it and everything, and, uh, it's looking a whole lot better, but, uh, I'm missing her, uh, she gave me a ride up to, uh, Krogus to get, um, money order for, to pay the balance of my rent. I got to go down and do that today, and I also, I'm just going to pay uh, August uh, early, so um, she took me over there, and I told her, I said, you know, I got a paper saying I'm going to be evicted, and uh, I'm sitting on an eviction notice, I, gotta, I told her what happened with my bank and everything. I said, the money just went in there, and I need to get up there and get, uh, you know, get it out of the account, get the money orders. And she took me up there, and I told her, I said, I'm sitting under eviction. She said, we are too. I said, you are? For crying out loud, what for? Now, these are the same people that had somebody break into their house in the middle of the day. It was between 11.30 and 12.30 a.m., uh, and in the space of a half hour, ransacked their house uh, and uh, shot off a weapon, all right? Broke a window, went in and just ransacked the place. They were definitely looking for something, and they found a safe. Uh, Lindsay had a safe in there, and they took the safe. I think when they shot off the weapon, they were trying to open the safe and couldn't get it open and just grabbed the safe and left. And uh, it's like, you know, I'm sitting in here hearing glass breaking and weapon going off. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to go out on the porch and see what's going on. So, but I was blown away by that. I said, why on earth is she evicting you guys? And uh, Lindsay told me that they went, uh, she went down there and asked for some footage because there's a, y'all on, on a camera, because there's a camera down at the bottom of the stairs here and uh somebody walked past my my apartment uh about half an hour after all that was going on so i mean i'm pretty sure it was them so and they used that stairwell to get you know to leave and she went into the office and requested footage uh so she could see who it was uh now she had already accused Lindsay's boyfriend of being the one that broke open their window, all right, and ransacked the place and robbed it. Um, how crazy is that? And I, could, I couldn't believe it, but she went into the office to get, you know, uh, to view the footage and, and, and get copy of it, and there was none of it, all right? And I had already told Lindsay about the cameras here. I said, there's very few, uh, if they even work. And uh, when we were going down the stairs, we stopped and we took a look at the camera. And the camera is not even pointed at the stairwell. It's pointed at the dumpster. So you can't see who's coming and going uh, up and down that stairwell. You know what? What's the point of the camera? And uh, Lindsay pointed it out to me. She says it's not even pointed at the stairs. She's got no footage whatsoever. But she has blamed Lindsay's boyfriend for doing it, which I think it's, that's just crazy. And she evicted them. Uh, yesterday was, uh, the day before yesterday it was, uh, was their last day. They had to get out right away. I don't think she gave them 
but a, a but a week and uh you know uh it, it, that's insult to injury i mean it's and they're good people and they're quiet people and they don't have people over all the time they have some friends i mean uh, they're both students uh uh they have a friend or two over once in a while, but they're not party animals. Uh, two other people left here last week. One of them been here for a couple years. I don't. Uh, according to Lindsay, he was evicted too. Uh, you know, it's like you know, it's crazy. And I told Lindsay, I said, you know what it is? Your liability. She's afraid of being sued. Now, uh, she didn't evict her until she went down and asked for footage from the from the camera to try and find out who did what they did. And it would have been on there if the camera had been pointed at the stairs. Uh, what the hell good is that camera pointing at the dumpster? Uh, but personally, I, I don't. I don't think that it even works. And I was blown away. She said, "I am too." I'm saying, "I we have to leave uh, today. Tonight's our last night here." Yeah, I couldn't believe it. She's blaming my boyfriend, saying he did it. That's just crazy. And I said, "You're a liability." She's afraid of being sued. Uh, and and probably asking for the footage, pardon me, the footage from the camera was the, was the straw that that uh, broke the camel's back, because she ain't got none. She she ain't got nothing but a bunch of video of a dumpster, all right. Bummer! I am so bummed out. I said, damn! I said I wanted to have you guys over for Christmas. Well, you know, I said, can you give me your number or something? You know. And she, she, she gave me her number. But that's, I mean, you don't even, you don't feel like you live here, all right? You just don't. Like, and I've mentioned this before in Arkansas, they don't uh, need a reason to evict you. You could be a, an excellent tenant, pay your rent on time, be clean, be quiet, and they don't need a reason to evict you. That's the way the law is here. And really, it, it needs to be changed. I, I sure are going to miss them. You know, uh, just about... Uh, now, now, it's been at least four people now. Uh, every time I meet somebody and, I, I, you know, we're friends. We, you know, we're not real close friends, but uh, they end up leaving. But that's just crazy evicting them I mean they're very responsible uh, individuals they're young but they're very responsible they go to school uh, they always paid the rent <coughs> pardon me uh, you know, quiet you know it's uh, how, how can you feel secure where you're living you know somebody breaks into your apartment and you get accused of it and then they evict you I mean that's insult to injury You know, it's it, I, I, my mind's blown. It really is. And I'll be taking the rest of my rent down there today, and I'm paying August ahead of time. Uh, as soon as I found out the money was in the bank, I, I, I that was it. If I had to take a cab, I was going. But Lindsay was uh, good enough to take me to get all my money orders and everything, because I I'm not going to take the chance of of my bank account being hacked again. Now I got another bank account, and uh, I have to set it, the direct deposit up. But it's it's you know I have to go through the government to do that, and uh, nobody's answering the phones. And I tried to do it online, and uh, apparently you know uh, about three years ago, uh, I had uh, signed up for that, and I can't remember any of my. Uh, passwords or codes or any, anything like that and I tried remembering and it shut me off so because you can only try so many times and then it shuts you off and then uh 
I tried calling, couldn't get an answer. You know how that is. And so I got to keep trying to get a hold of them uh, to give them my new banking information. And I'm hoping uh, I do good with this bank. I, I could not uh, transfer anything. I had to get it uh, in the old bank account. And uh, uh, my bank account's been hacked five times in the last seven months. So uh, I got it out of there right quick, and I was I was glad that Lindsay took me. But I mean, I'm, my mind is blown away by that. And I told her, I said, I, you know, I, hell, I wanted to have you all over for Christmas, uh, and I can still do that. I mean, she gave me a number. Uh, maybe by then, you know, Christmas rolls around. Uh, she won't feel uncomfortable coming back around here. I mean, I can, hell, I mean, if that's my company, that's my company, you know. I definitely want to have them over. But that's just a shame. I mean, how can you feel like you actually live in a place? You know, management here is not allowing people to feel like they live in this place, okay? Uh... It, it, she treats everybody more like they're uh, renting a motel room for the night. So, uh, I, <laughs> I really don't think anybody likes her, but I guess you don't have to. But really, how can you feel like, you know, this is my spot, this is my house, this is where I live. You can't do that. And people have a right to do that. You know, that's part of the pursuit of happiness. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, these, these people were done really wrong. Really wrong. All right. Uh, uh, other people have mentioned that, you know, uh, it, it sounded like an inside job, them being broken into and everything. And uh, and she's, uh, management's blaming him for it, but she's blaming him directly. Not somebody he knew, but him doing it directly. And she don't like him living there. Well, the one that she had living with her uh, 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 almost two years ago, I was glad to see him go. Uh, now, I was out here on my porch having a cigarette, and they walked by, and he was like, and I think I mentioned this in another video, he was like, let's uh, let's ask her. She's older. She should know. She should have some wisdom, and I'm still looking at him. You know, I'm thinking to myself, no pressure there. And uh, we, we, we want to ask you something. And I said, well, I, I don't normally get involved in people's business, right? So, uh, but all right, what is it? And he said, uh, if a couple is together and they're a couple, uh, and, and, and one of them don't work, uh, do you think they should split up and I looked at him and I said I look at that this way if I wanted more kids I would have had them and he was shocked he was blown away by that but there are a couple I said I don't care I wouldn't have one that didn't work all right uh, or if he like me I'm disabled so Unless he, he couldn't work. I wouldn't have one that didn't work. All right. Uh, if I wanted more kids, I would have had them. And it blew him away. And I said, well, that's the way I feel about it. Well, it, uh, it, it wasn't a month later, he was gone. But uh, he was nothing but trouble anyway. Uh, and she's really happy with the Victor. And they get along fine. So I was glad to see him go. I mean, she goes to school and works, and 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 this one, uh, he he just wanted to sit around doing nothing, playing video games, I guess. So, uh, uh I was glad to see her uh, get with Victor. They they obviously knew each other uh, beforehand, and he's a he's a good kid. So, I mean, maybe he has an assorted past, but that's past. I mean, uh, he. I mean, they live right next. They live right next door to me. I mean, I, I know their, you know, their habits and stuff. They're good kids. So uh, I was blown away by that. I really was. 
and I went into a a live stream a couple nights ago and, and you know I, I don't think I'm going to be going to that person's channel anymore I've been following their channel for I don't know over a year now and uh, they asked me did you get that mess straightened out yet and I said yeah I got it straightened out I'm good you are you're good uh, it's a good thing you got that mess straightened out uh, and I asked him, well, how, how are you doing? He, I'm good, but if I was in a position like that, I wouldn't bitch about it. <clears throat> and they made that statement so many times, four or five times. Well, I wouldn't bitch about it. There's no good to bitch about some. Uh, four or five times they made that statement, and as far as I'm concerned, they were calling me a bitch uh, four or five times because I, I went online and I made a video uh, saying about the situation I was I was in, uh, my my bank account being hacked, and you know uh, maybe somebody would help or something. Uh, and I thought that was very rude of that person to say that. You know, well it would do no good to bitch about it. You'd just be bitching about it. And they really they 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 were calling me a bitch. And and that person, when something happens to them, oh yeah, they get on there and make videos about it. So uh, I don't know what they're talking about, but it it was very cold. And I I will not be back to their channel. I don't need that. Anybody going through something don't need any kind of lecture, uh, or. Or something that even resembles a reprimand uh, because they ask people for help. Now, I'm disabled, all right? I cannot work. If I could work, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have my own damn house. But when somebody goes through something like that, you, you don't need to be jumping all over them. I don't, I don't understand some people these days, you know. And if I could work, uh, at one time I did, I made good money. And if somebody needed help, I, if I could give it to them, I gave it to them. But I didn't make comments like, well, bitching about it, you know, just, just bitching about it. You shouldn't be bitching about it. I didn't bitch about nothing. I asked people for help. And frankly, I was quite surprised that I didn't get any help. But the thing of it is, a lot of people are hurting these days. So I will be taking uh, my rent down to the office today, uh, the balance of July, and I'm paying August early when the office opens up today. Now I've seen a uh, maintenance going in their old apartment doing some stuff yesterday and I said you know I, I told I told him I said it's a shame that I'm gonna miss them they were good people they were quiet and they were good people they need to change the law here in Arkansas they really do they just become a liability is what it was uh, I don't think it had anything to do with her boyfriend at all they believe it had a lot to do with her ex-boyfriend, who she threw out, you know, and I don't blame her. I wish them all the best. I'm glad she left the number, her phone number. She left it out here on the balcony on my seat when they left. They did get a new place, uh... She says this is the cheapest place to live in Little Rock. And I said, you can't exactly uh, charge a lot of money for a place that uh, is being broken into. Uh, the pool, uh, ain't seen the pool. And I've been here over two years now, ain't seen the pool. It's, and somebody made a comment on uh, my channel. It's funny how you pay for stuff you don't even get. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, uh. 
pull came with the rent, and uh, I ain't seen I ain't seen it. You know, it's it's never been working. They're trying to get it fixed, but I don't think it's going to happen this year. But that just blew my mind. I, I mean, I just how can you feel like a place is actually your place when when that happens? They could just like <laughs> I, mean, I think she gave them a week. All right. She gave me 10 days. She could have evicted me right away, but uh, she didn't. And I'm grateful for that, but uh, it just it just blows my mind. And the the person in, uh, in the you know I was in their chat room. I said, yeah, I got it, I got it straightened up, but it's it, it's made everything really tight. Well, everything's tight for everybody. I said, not like this. And I'm going to put this out there again. I don't get regular disability. I get SSI. I live on $800 a month. All right? And some food stamps. So my rent takes up a good chunk of that check. And uh, the person that lent me the money, uh, it put them in a tight spot. And... I'm making payments and chunks to them, and that was that was the agreement, and I'm going to stick to that agreement. And it's it's still, it, you know, I'm still hurting. I mean, that's my uh, cleaning supplies. That's my toilet paper, right? That's uh, <laughs> uh, and it's going to be that way for several months now until uh, this other mess gets straightened out because my bank can't do anything. I had to go through uh, the merchant. Uh, they're investigating it, but they haven't started it yet because I go into a queue. So it's first come, first serve in the queue. So, yeah, uh, I'm I'm sending chunks to that person uh, to pay them back right away. It, it hurt them to help me. But it meant I wasn't going to go out on the street. And I appreciate them being there for me. And I told the person in the chat, you know, no, not like this, all right? People who work and, 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 make, and still can make money don't understand what it is for a, a lot of elderly people. Everything is going up around us, everything, rents, utilities, food, anybody that's got a car, gas is going up. Pardon me, but our income don't go up. Work. That's why it's called a fixed income. All right. And I'm sympathetic to people that are in that situation. I had a friend online. I follow their channel. Uh, their rent went up. Uh, disabled veteran. And they didn't know what they were going to do. They they were preparing to move into their van. Now this is a sixty some year old gentleman. All right. And what uh, what they actually what he actually did was he, he was living in a trailer up in Florida. What he actually did was split the trailer in half and rent out half of it, and it kept him from having to live in his van. This is what's happened to to elderly people because of the economy. So uh, yeah, things are tight all over, and maybe it's it's cutting into your lifestyle a little bit. You know, if you're working, but you ain't in a position where you have to decide, you know, if you can pay this or which one you have to let go, uh, how much you can pay on this one, how much you can pay on that one. A lot of elderly people are suffering uh, because of what they're doing up in the, you know, in Washington. It's crazy. And people are oblivious to it. Uh, your senior citizens and, and your disabled people and, and are becoming the next generation of poor people going out on the street in the United States. And nobody seems to care that uh, they're a, a veteran uh, unless it's Veterans Day. 
So I didn't appreciate that person talking to me like that. I thought it was cold and it was callous and it was uncalled for. It was, yeah, no, uh. You, you shouldn't be treating people that way, so. <sighs> the people seem to be oblivious to the fact that the people that are going out on the street becoming homeless uh, are, are your senior citizens. When they should be enjoying their golden years they're worried about finding a place to live or how they're going to pay a bill. If you know anybody like that, please help them. All right? Pay, pay that electricity bill for them. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.